Hello and welcome back to Shanti Fine Arts. Today we are going to work with watercolor and learn how to paint mushrooms with watercolor. So without much ado, let's get into the painting tutorial. And if you're not already subscribed, I have painting tutorials worth loads on my channel and I post new videos every Wednesday and Friday so consider subscribing and gives me a thumbs up if you like this video and share in the comment what you think about it. Thank you for watching. Before I started the tutorial I wanted to share with you my new watercolor paints from Holbein. I used to work with Winsor & Newton all this while and I still want, I want to keep on working with them. But this paint was recommended by Maria who is a very successful watercolorist and a YouTuber as well. And I'm going to try out and see how this uh, improves the vibrancy of my watercolor drawing. I am using a water soluble graphite pencil to lightly draw out my mushrooms. Now what does what a graphite pencil a water soluble graphite pencil does is that um, any pencil lines that are visible after application of the paint it kind of dissolves with the paint being water soluble and thus becomes part of the painting and does not look like pencil marks showing from underneath your the layers of watercolor so I always use a graphite, water soluble graphite for my watercolor drawings. Um, I did a pretty detailed sketch and in my, on top of mushrooms you often see small white specks which I typically use masking fluid to reserve the white of the paper. But here you can see that instead of using masking fluid I'm using a very super trick. This is just a Crayola white crayon that I borrowed from my eight-year-old son and I with whatever area that I would have put masking fluid in general what I want to keep the white of the paper intact even after using paint over it I am dabbing this Crayola crayon instead so if you are very new to watercolor and if you have never used masking fluid and if you're kind of cautious or not so sure whether you want to use masking fluid this is a super neat trick for you that you can use instead of uh, dabbling with masking fluid now you can see that I'm first starting on blocking the background and uh, I do not want a very detailed background in fact I want a very blurry background I want some bright colors so that against that my mushrooms show out very nice show up very nicely I want a lot of contrast but at the same time I don't want something to take away the attention from my subject matter which are the mushrooms here so I put a lot of bright colors but I kept it very blurry and then I came back in the subject matter and put several layers of red starting from very light um, layers to very bright layers and I've used a combination of both crimson and scarlet lake reds uh, for the top of the mushrooms and uh, I as usual I'm working with layers and building uh, paying a lot of attention to building contrast Hyping up the contrast is what gives your painting a beautiful look. And now you can see that how the uh, application of crayon did the job of the masking fluid and is keeping the white spots intact which I wanted on the top of the mushroom. So you can see that it, although I'm keeping on apply, applying new layers of paint continuously, I am also removing some old layers. And that is all about this painting. That was simple, easy, and very neat trick. Thank you for watching and do not forget to give me a like and subscribe.